Uh, let's begin for legal capacity to contract marriage for British national. So first, open your browser and on the Google search bar, type legal capacity to contract marriage uh, for Bre uh, British citizen. And look on this one, uh, gov.uk, and click this notarial and documentary services guide for the philippines or you may click the link on the description of this video i put the link on there to access it easy here you can read the recent updates of british embassy here in philippines and the latest update was uh, december 19 2022 you may look at uh, this administer an oath um, affirmation or affidavit announcement and it said that the British nationals who wish to marry in the Philippines must have their marriage affidavit or affidavit of legal capacity to contract marriage notarized locally in the Philippines. Um, this service is not available from British Embassy because the Philippine Statistic Authority or PSA have told us they accept marriage affidavit issued by local lawyer or notary public in accordance with the memorandum circular number 2021-004 so what you have to do is take screenshot of this announcement and print it in case your local civil registrar not aware and uh, may refuse those uh, locally uh, notarized uh, you have a proof to show them that British Embassy advised that the locally notarized um, affidavit is valid. Then click this purple link. Um, here uh, you will route it to another page about the marriage in the Philippines. Here you can see the PSA memorandum copy and the PSA affidavit sample format and its announcement for marriage. Uh, take a screenshot again of this announcement and print it. Then download and print this PSA memorandum circular copy. And you may type your own or copy this PSA affidavit sample uh, template of legal capacity to contract marriage for British. Uh, citizen fill out the informations uh, print and have it notarized to any public notary here in Philippines um, personal appearance of British national is a must because the local attorney will ask their signature in front of them also if divorce please uh, don't forget to bring the original and photocopy of divorce decree as well as valid ID and it's a uh, photocopy and uh, that's all for british national next is canadian national legal capacity to contract marriage again open your browser and type legal capacity to contract marriage for canadian national select this one uh, government of canada services and information in manila philippines scroll down and look marriage abroad uh, you may read the announcement and it says there that Canadian citizen who wish to marry in Philippines may may uh, prepare an affidavit to attest that you are legally capable of entering a marriage. You may type your own affidavit or copy this PSA affidavit sample format. Fill out the Canadian citizen information who is entering into marriage and have it notarized in Philippines by local notary. A Canadian citizen personal appearance is needed. A valid ID and don't forget to bring original and photocopy of divorce paper if divorced. You may read further information here um, in their website or contact the Canadian Embassy in Philippines for further info. Also, don't forget to take screenshot and print this announcement so that just in case your local civil registry may refuse, you may have something to show coming from Canadian Embassy that that locally notarized is valid. 
and lastly print this PSA memorandum copy as well and attach it with a notarized affidavit of legal capacity to contract marriage together with the other uh, civil documents and submit, uh, submit it to your local civil registry to apply a marriage license. Uh, that's all guys. Um, if you think uh, this video helps you, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and click the notification bell button for more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.